Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie2k is officially trying to patch every guard in NBA 2K20. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to dribble in NBA 2K20 after patch 10. So let's get right into it. <laughs> What's good YouTube? It's your boy Clutch DF and I am back with yet another banger. Now in today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all a new updated dribble tutorial as well as my signature styles. 2K has came out with another patch which is patch 10. They're really trying to mess up with the guards because if you guys do not know with patch 10 and you're a guard, you guys try to do the explosive behind the back, it just doesn't work. Like you can get it behind the back, but it's super slow. Everybody on Twitter, if you guys are on Twitter, whatever, you guys know. But if you guys are new and don't know anything about this, they completely patched the explosive behind the back where you could go left and right behind a screen. It was literally the most used move in the game and it made a lot of like bad kids decent at the game if you guys know what i'm saying so now it's gonna have a skill gap and today if you guys are freaking out like oh no i really don't know how to dribble i really relied on that move i got you boys but if you guys are new to my channel if this is your first time ever clicking or watching one of my videos i'd appreciate it if you guys could take three seconds out of your day to go subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you guys turn on post notifications and make sure you guys smash this like button let's try and get 125 likes on this video i know y'all boys can do it you guys showed me a mad love last video so first things first what you want to do you want to go to your my player appearance and you want to go to your animations now let me hide this controller just so y'all can see boop hide the controller all right now as you guys can see my jump shot is clutch if you guys want to go check it out i just said that video was my last video it's coming up at 60,000 views which is amazing i thank you guys so much for all of that all the likes everything all the comments i appreciate that now free throws richard hamilton that is the best free throw in the game if you guys are like in my career you can't green anything super slow it's super easy it just works out good i've used that ever since 19 now your dribble pull up must be normal four or stephen curry those are the like the two most popular ones in the game normal four is easy for me to time because i've been using it since 19 it's the exact same now this hop jumper is a must everybody that's a guard that's watching this put on hop jumper 21 because in this video you have to do a lot of hop steps now that patch 10 has came out you're gonna have to be using way more hop jumpers so 21 is the best one if you guys are wondering so i recommend you guys using that one right there now let's get into my dribble moves as you guys can see dribble style is quick my size up packages i either use pro six or Kyrie Irving or Allen Iverson it just depends on the day and what I'm feeling if you guys are in my streams and you like want to know my size of packages or anything like that and you guys go to the video it might be different because I alternate through pro six Kyrie and Allen Iverson it just depends what I'm feeling like but moving crossover is pro two moving behind the back is pro six moving spin is basic one moving hesitation is pro three and triple threat style is normal three that one doesn't really matter but I have it on normal three now that I showed you guys the dribble moves, let's head on over to the my court. Now that you guys have made it into your my court, it's time to get to dribbling after this patch. Now let me tell you guys from the start, this is what the behind the back looks like, right? You can't really hezzy out of it right away. So once you do it, you have to keep running and then you have to hezzy, right? So like it looks just super slow and it's just not good no more. Like you're not fast out of it. You can't do anything out of it. So now what we're going to do, instead of relying on that move, this is the new move. To, to go left and right super quick, it's the behind the back. That's all you do behind the screen. I'm telling you guys, it's super quick, especially if you hezzy out and you shoot right out of it, you'll be fine. So that move right there is basically like what I just like instead of doing the behind the back don't get me wrong you can still use it but just going between the legs is like the new going behind your back all right so standing still like a really good move to do if you guys are just like trying to combo up and go left and right all you want to do is a momentum between your legs and just like go out of it if you guys have the lane take it obviously but like just the momentum like between the legs it's super clean it's super good so momentum between the leg as you guys can see 
I'm gonna stand still and show you guys how to do it. So the momentum between the legs, you stand still, if the ball's in your right hand, you wanna go to the left, you guys, momentum to the left, go between your legs to the right, and then follow through. If you guys don't, if you guys like need to slow it down, replay the video and stare at my controller on how I did it. So now this move right here, we're gonna do a momentum into a hop step. This will really give you a lot of space, especially off of a screen. So once you momentum, you wanna do a hop step the other way, and then go out of it, you can do whatever you want. You can just keep going between the legs like I said and then or you can like reset or if you want to go out of it you can do a momentum hop step flick down do like a little half spin you know just get glitchy with it and you can occasionally do that behind the back like I just did it's all good you can do whatever it's just it's not gonna be as like OP like it has been in the past so that move right there is really glitchy you can still do that I honestly think I'm still gonna be able to cook up on the 1v1 court yes it is gonna be hard but I will definitely do that for y'all so now that you know how to do your momentum hop step this third combo right here it gets difficult but trust me take the time to slow down the video and really get to learn how to do this move right here so now right here this dribble move is overpowered I can't lie to you guys it's the half spin you guys can literally do it ever out of it you guys can see you go between your legs behind the back throughout the whole entire cycle you guys just get that angle and it just it's super nice like this and you can just cook up like i'm not gonna lie it's kind of hard to explain what i'm doing here so let's try to explain so this move right here off of the screen is super overpowered and how you do it it's a half spin and then you do a double cross and then you have a lane just like that. I didn't do a double cross, but it still worked out. You guys get what I'm saying? It's like you go straight to the basket after this. And it's like you, you do it like super quick. And if you're like by a screen, it's overpowered as shit. Now the half spin that makes you look like your 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 Stizo Jr. To be honest, to be fair, I don't really know what I'm doing. So if you guys are wondering how I'm doing that, just look at my controller and that's how I'm doing it. Like I can't tell you because like I haven't been able like I've been I've not been doing these dribble moves for like that long. It's just like with this new update, you have to like do other stuff. But like that, I can tell you how to do. So to do the half spin to the right, think of your analog stick as like a clock. Three o'clock is to the right, and then 12 o'clock is up top. So what you want to do, you want to start out at three o'clock, rotate it to, to 12 o'clock. So what you want to do to do that little move right there, it's super nice, it's super quick. So how you do it, out of your half spin, you want to do diagonal left, diagonal right two times. That's how you go between your legs, between your legs. Let's get into the next combo. So this combo right here is with the basic one spin. Now this spin back is super glitchy and like not many people like can stop it. So that's like what you, like that's what it is right there. You guys seen how fast I just spun out of that? You go between your legs and spin back. So what you want to do when you drive to the paint just like this, you want to flick it through, hold RT and just spin backwards but it's gonna be in one motion, so it will be quick. So you go between your legs, behind the back, like that, and you're, and you're back on your feet. You're ready to go, you feel me? So like another move you can do out of it. So all you do to do that move, this is how you do it. You go there, there, there. Like, you guys see what I just did? This is the easiest way I can explain. Just so you guys have practice on doing that move, this is how you wanna do it. You wanna start under your rim, you wanna run out, you wanna flick your stick to the end, Look how I'm flicking my stick. I flick in and then down. I flick in and then down to do that behind the back. And that's exactly how I did it out of that spin back. Whenever I was running back, I just flicked it in and down. And then it gives you a sham god at the very end. Now, if you're doing that spin back, it's super glitchy. You do this, you flick down, you go in and then down again. It's super glitchy. You guys can slow it down. Pay attention to my controller. And yeah, that's pretty much how you do that move right there. That's pretty much going to be the last combo, to be honest. Everything else is momentum crossover, momentum, hop step, everything like that. You, got, you can do the half spin and, and make yourself look super glitchy that's pretty much it for the dribble tutorial i know ronald has patched a lot of the guards so if you guys are like like are decent at doing this you guys have potential and if you guys are like like not struggling at all you guys will be just fine it's gonna be the kids that like relied on that other move to get themselves open so if you guys aren't one of those you guys will be fine and say you were one of those kids and you guys are watching my video right now just really learn like how to do like the momentum and like crossover and the hop steps and then the half spins if you guys can get glitchy with these half spins like you guys will be just fine like i'm telling you it's super glitchy but other than that make sure you guys like up this video if this did help you out in any way i i want you guys to drop a like drop a comment and say loyal if you guys are still watching to this video it's been your boy clutch df and i'm out yo
it go do 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 blow away. Pull up, we bust, and not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much henny, might shoot up the function. Now with the cuff, and I only want fucking. Sipping this doozy, I might just start dumping. Take down the plug, and now we got nothing. Trash any boy, man, they got my phone jumping. Niggas, they